Now, the unrest in Turkey has claimed a second life. A police already facing widespread criticism for using excessive force are being accused of being behind the killing of a 22-year-old man. Arti Zarina Galushko, who's in Istanbul, has the latest details on this. The man did die after he, sustaining a head wound uh, during uh, the night's protest um, in the south of Turkey, in the city of Antakya. Now, uh, some, of the, some of the protesters are saying the shot came apparently from a police car. However, this information, we have to stress this, hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, so we have to wait and see for at least somewhat official results whether or not this indeed was a case of uh, severe uh, police brutality. Earlier on Sunday, there was a young man who also died after a car slammed into a crowd of protesters. Uh, he also died from his injuries. So far, these are two confirmed deaths, but the people on the street that we have been speaking to, they're saying that they have personally seen people who were, who were killed and they've seen at least uh, four or five people who are dead. More than 1,600 people have already been injured and more than 1,000 arrested. There's more and more people coming out on Taksim Square, going to Gezi Park, just in Istanbul alone. Uh, the number is increasing and most of them are really peaceful protesters. And we have talked to one of the Young Lawyers Association representatives Representative who explained to us why people continue to flock the streets in Turkey, voicing their protest of the current government. We have a lot of groups, mm -hmm. not only lawyers. Uh, here are some doctors. It is the uh, organization of the uh, community, of the nation. They are asking a government to resign. They become uh, a union here due to the, due to the uh, illegal acts of the government. And at the same time, uh, Prime Minister Erdogan is actually out of the country. He's on a trip to Morocco and uh, speaking on Monday, he said that the situation in the country, in Turkey, is calm. He has also disregarded the words of the Turkish uh, President Gül, who called off to end police brutality and is actually meeting uh, with the representatives of the top opposition parties in Turkey in order to try and solve the situation peacefully. However, uh, Prime Minister Erdogan has said that he doesn't understand uh, what the president says when he said that the uh, protesters' message has been heard. Members of the uh, public sector are also going out in protest today, so this ad just adds to the magnitude of protest that we are seeing. So really, the protest uh, movement in Turkey the, does look like it's only gaining momentum. Artie Zorina Galushko right there. Uh, she's in Istanbul, closely watching the events, uh, not just in the city, but across the country. You can follow her Twitter feed for the latest updates and, of course, the most recent developments as well. Human rights groups, though, taking the time to hit out at the security forces in Turkey for their brutal response to the protests. Artie's Igor Piskonov looks at the accusations, though it's only fair to warn you that you might find some of the images in his forthcoming report disturbing. Water cannons, tear gas and rubber bullets. What started as an environmental protest provoked a full-scale show of force from the police. Footage shows disoriented protesters slammed into the pavement by powerful water cannons and often the water is yellow because police are deliberately mixing in pepper spray. People are down on the ground trying to return to their senses. Here a young woman appears to be having a seizure and here the police in action. All the people who try to resist against the police violence, they never just act violently, they don't use any weapons, but the police attacks severely using excessive force. I wouldn't call it excessive force, it amounts to torture actually. Similar footage is coming from around 40 cities and towns across Turkey. There are claims the police are deliberately pumping tear gas into residential homes. These are among the most violent protests Turkey's seen in decades. Each day, more people are wondering whether the government remembers Turkey is a democratic republic. I also tasted uh, the tear gas and the water cannon because I was in the front. And uh, for a moment, we thought that we we're going to die and we did nothing to uh, deserve that. This protest is not only uh, for Taksim Gezi Park, this is uh, the whole uh, policy uh, of governments. We are under pressure uh, for, uh, for about 10 years. But according to Prime Minister Erdogan, the government is the one being oppressed. He slammed the protest as anti-democratic and illegitimate, accusing those on the streets of being extremists organized by outside forces. But protests on this scale take on a legitimacy of their own. And human rights organizations are already severely criticizing the government's actions. Igor Piskunov, RT.